I open up Anime Studio Debut 7. It's not a professional version. I picked this version up for like $50 on the net yesterday. I will open up a new project here. And uh, in this project, I will create some layers with different types of mouths. Uh, it will be a lip syncing tutorial. So I will need some uh, drawings of a mouth. So this would be like a smiley mouth. I will create another vector layer here. And I will put another shape on my mouse, maybe more round. Uh, it didn't really work. Uh, undo. Now we do another vector layer here. It appears on vector layer 2. I can do out to close here, so I will get also a round mouse, more roundish. Um, I can create another one, vector layer, and I will use some sort of a more neutral mouth and I will do a fourth mouth which will be more like a line like that. Uh, I will need some sound so I will record with my microphone and audio recording here up on window and uh, I will make some pauses in the video because the pauses then the mouth shouldn't move uh, and I think that's the point with this tutorial to show that you can do this manually. I've been looking around on the internet for a tutorial that uh, uh, would do this, but they are a bit over ambitious because they are probably much, much better than I at this program or animation in general. But what I was uh, looking for was a more manual, uh, um, automatic way to do the lips uh, movement. It doesn't have to be perfect from my. Uh, uh, sense, but uh, I don't want to put in every single syllable and every corresponding mouth to the, to the sounds manually. I want the program to sort of make a uh, approximation or, or something that will be good enough for me. And so I will record something now. This is a lip syncing tutorial for Anime Studio debut 7. So I think this sync with timeline playback is quite important. Uh, I will add it to the project so the, the sound file will appear down here in the timeline but I have to name this file and you can make it unchanged here but I will name it lip.vav and put it on the desktop. It says Skriboda because I'm Swedish uh, and um, apologize for my bad Swedish accent it's it's quite annoying even for me but in uh, lack of uh, good tutorials on the internet um, I choose to make this in English uh, if you have a good tutorial that shows this uh, please comment it on my tutorial if you would look at it because it, then people will not have to see this one so now we have different types of mouses here and we have a sound file. Now we should create a um, switch file. And it's a switch file that is going to do the connections between the different types of layer. Now my girlfriend come into the room, so it gets me really nervous because she's lived one year in America and think my English is just crap. So that's not good. Uh, but um, we will to instruct the program here that these are the mouths that will be connected to this uh, uh, layer here, the switch layer, you have to drag them. So I drag the layer 4 on top of the layer 6, and this is the switch layer, you can see that's on the icon here to the left, and drop it, and it will appear underneath it. So I put every one of them up here to the switch layer, it will become red the switch layer, and I can drop it there. And you will see that they will all appear beneath the switch layer. The sound layer here is not actually underneath the switch layer. It doesn't have to be what I'm concerning, but um, it can be there. But you have to connect the switch layer with the sound file, which is the layer here. So you go into switch and here you can choose the lip sound file. So now you have the mouth connected to the switch layer and you have the switch layer connected to the sound file, even if it's not underneath it. 
And now you can see in the timeline where the sound file is that they put in some blue dots in the timeline and they are, I think, keyframes without being as good at this animation thing. And here is where it's gonna change the, uh, the lips or the mouth in the uh, animation. And the thing is that it will do the changes where there is no, uh, where there are sounds and not where there are no sounds, which we can see here. And that is good enough for me that the mouth will be quiet in rest when there is no no one speaking and it will sort of move around when there is some sound uh, appearing in the animation. That's good enough for me. It doesn't have to be perfect English in any way. But I think you should name those uh, these um, layers corresponding to the letters. I see now that people do that. Maybe it increases the sort of effect you have for this make it less randomly maybe it appears more with the sounds that is made in the file hopefully you know i bought this yesterday and i've been looking around for some for some uh, instructions but I haven't really find anything but you know, something like this and then you can have a, a natural uh, sort of mouth that hopefully will uh, be chosen if it doesn't uh, correspond to any of the other layers or names here. Oh, um, now the key points disappear because I made some changes here and then you have to sort of reconnect uh, the switch layer now. Here, lip wave and okay. Probably it will work now. So I will do a test here. You will probably not hear the sound really because it's on my stereo but I will see if it works. Yeah, it worked really well, I think. Uh, the natural mouth is uh, this one, um, the straight line, and uh, then we have different types of mouth here. So it like, so opens up a bit, have a natural uh, part here where it's like not so much sound. Then we have like an AU sound or something and a smiley face and so on. So the more mouths you place in the this um, switch uh, layer, more it can sort of animate and this is good enough for me and I hope it will help someone out there so you don't have to sort of figure this out yourself. So uh, I will play this again, I will increase the level of my sound system so maybe you can hear, hear the sound and, and see the synchronization on the screen. So here it comes. This is a lip syncing tutorial for Anime Studio Debut 7. This is... Of course Disney and Pixar and all the names wouldn't be impressed in any way, but for paying 50 bucks for a animation program that can do so much, even if I haven't in any way figured everything out, because sometimes it doesn't do the things I want, but it does lip synchronization. I it seems to, anyway. And uh, that was what I wanted to show you. And uh, please comment if you have some better tutorials. People don't have to see this. You can go right away to the real stuff. But it have to be automatically, not a manual stuff where you put in each different keyframes where you want it with a right mouth and stuff like that. That I have found on the internet, but that was not what I was uh, looking for, actually. Bye.